Hello and welcome to In The Hyperloop, my name is Blake. We're gonna start off with some little known Hyperloop companies and work up to the big guns. So right now we're gonna talk about Continuum Industries. This is a new spin-off from the Edinburgh University Hype Ed Hyperloop pod competition team that competes at SpaceX. And there's a little bit um, interesting in that they are kind of competing in the same space as Hyper Poland, another spin-off Hyperloop group. And, you know, we don't know much about them, but they just had a really interesting um, symposium uh, through an organization called Catapult. And they offer a full report um, that was put together from a different couple groups on behalf of Innovate UK. So this report is about potential opportunities for jobs and growth within the UK supply chain uh, associated with Hyperloop. It's a fascinating read, it's really long, but I just wanted to highlight uh, page six in which the government of the UK um, recommends some findings from this study and is first launch a UK event to bring Hyperloop developers interested in this together coordinate with UK industry to offer joined up offering of UK capabilities. Number three, undertake independent deep dives into the techno technical, economic, and feasibility of Hyperloop. And it goes on into kind of the business case surrounding personal rapid transit schemes. But I would highly recommend this incredible document. We haven't seen many other groups produce this kind of um, transparent documents, perhaps another group, uh, Heart Hyperloop, which we'll get to next. I also want to highlight that other Hyperloop SpaceX pod competition teams are working hard. Paradigm, for example, is in the Hyperloop pod competition for 2019. So make sure you're following um, in the Hyperloop's uh, SpaceX Hyperloop 2018 and 2019. I need to update that. Um, Twitter list. So speaking of Heart Hyperloop, um, they've recently redone uh, their Instagram page, which is great to follow. Um, and they um, have released a new design of their Hyperloop pod. So we're just going to watch this for a little bit. And they did this at Innovate Expo 2018 in Rotterdam. Heart really has done a great job with their marketing and they're really highlighting their partners that they're bringing together, forming a pretty strong from the outside uh, list. They have Tata Steel, for example, that they really are proud of showing as a partner organization. But this Innovation Expo It looks pretty similar to what we've seen in past renders. Um, again, it, it looks very similar to something that you'd see from Transpod um, or HTT. Um, again, not much details about this new pod, but this Hyperloop Innovation Expo was really kind of a grand release for their partners and for their new pod design, so good job. And of course, Heart Hyperloop is still um, seeking full-time positions, so if you're interested in Hyperloop and want to work there in the Netherlands, uh, feel free to apply to a job. And another group um, from Europe, uh, KTH Hyperloop, which is again a SpaceX pod competition team, Heart Hyperloop is a full-on startup. Um, they are the Swedish Hyperloop team and they produce this really fun video of their team member running really fast down a hall, um, trying to act as fast as a Hyperloop pod. So really good banter. I'm glad that these other teams are working hard right now and building a um, student base for the next SpaceX pod competition in summer of 2019. Speaking of which, uh, in the UK <laughs> with Richard Branson, but also the Virgin Group, um, you know, Richard Branson was talking about how much a ticket will cost. Um, this report that was published October 9th 
um, quoted Richard Branson discussing more about India and how that will come online in 2019 or start being built. Um, still, you know, Richard Branson has released kind of a price point. It'll be more than a high-speed rail um, train ticket and uh, they hope to bring the price down further than that. But definitely uh, touting their um, upcoming Hyperloop in Mumbai to Pune and it's just going to be a really big deal. So looking forward to following that further. And again, since the HTT reveal of their pod in Spain, um, a lot of articles kind of rehashing where the state of Hyperloop is these days. Um, everybody has a feasibility study. This one's a great uh, article from ours that was published um, on the October 3rd and it's just, you know, all these feasibility studies, but we're not seeing um, these feasibility studies really released yet to the public. Um, everything is just about to be released in this upcoming year, but this is just a great article of the state of Hyperloop. Um, and then you have the Boston Globe. Could Elon Musk's Hyperloop help commuters in Massachusetts? It poses another great article October 4th, um, just kind of summarizing uh, what's going on with Hyperloop and how it could theoretically be uh, in Massachusetts as opposed to across uh, Pennsylvania. So I would highly recommend that they are still, you know, paying attention to this. People are still interested, but it is, um, it is still being developed. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, Mr. Beepup on Instagram uh, tweeted that he had a meeting at the White House um, that was about the regulatory framework for Hyperloop in the US. So who knows what went on behind those closed doors, but um, congratulations on um, going to Washington DC and getting those meetings. So we do know that um, Hyperloop One does have um, legislative lobbyists in DC as well. I've not quite heard uh, lately of, you know, HTT and their lobbyists in DC. Um, but speaking of which, another DC group, um, The Boring Company, had, doesn't have really much details about their DC test track, but there are some new photos that you've seen online of the tunnel um, that is being bored um, in Hawthorne, uh, for the Hawthorne test tunnel that is, not the um, dugout loop, which is at Dodger Stadium north of Hawthorne. Um, but this uh, test um, track near Hawthorne will be using this uh, very, very small space in a garage uh, type space. And they're just starting to dig that. So the FAQ section of the Boring Company, I'm sorry, the test tunnel section of the Boring Company's website um, refers to this and they still have yet to update uh, their photo gallery um, because uh, they're starting to dig and that's exciting. Um, we are still monitoring the, um, the East Coast loop and what that will mean between New York City and DC and as well as the Chicago loop which is um, purely just you know a pod and if you have more questions or want to learn more about this, I would highly recommend you check out A Boring Revolution on YouTube. Um, he goes really in depth, in depth about these different Hyperloop uh, tunnels or loops plans. And so I'd highly recommend you check his channel out. Um, so that does it for me. Um, stay tuned. More details about Hyperloop and loop will be um, revealed in the next couple of years. So um, if you want to follow on Twitter, please do so. If you have any news tips or would like to do an interview, please get in touch um, and stay in the loop.